So in the Data Evidence and Science Working Group um, of the Post-COVID-19 Commission, we really wanted to address some fundamental understandings uh, and explore the understanding around those three things. What is data? What is evidence that's derived from that data? And then how do we make decisions using the science that comes from data and evidence? We spent a lot of time exploring these issues with very many different sections of, uh, of the, the public. And we came out with, with four key learnings, really. The first one is that we needed to have transparency in what we do. And we need to have transparency in how we use data, how we collect data, what we're going to use it for, so that we have trust from the public in how the data they give us is going to be used, how it's going to be in particular used to inform decision making. Next, we needed to have an understanding around how we engage with people. So how do we engage with the public in conversations that matter to them, that are underpinned by data and scientific evidence in many cases. We needed to have interdisciplinarity. So it wasn't just a scientist or a data expert. It actually involved social science and business as well. And that interdisciplinarity was really important. And then we needed to have really clear methods of communication, knowing that communication isn't just one single person, it's a multiplicity of different people communicating to different sections of society. So there are four recommendations that have come out of the Data Evidence and Science Working Group. The first is to have a national conversation with the population of the country to talk about what we want to use their data for, how we gather, collect, store that data, and give them confidence that providing their data is going to be for a service that's for public good. The second is about creating a mechanism whereby we um, engage in uh, education around science. Science is going to become so important going forward into the future in terms of making decisions. So we need to ensure that people are engaged in that, that they understand what the science that they're being presented with is about and how we're going to use it effectively and correctly. The third is that we create a series of science into practice sessions where we enable an understanding of the people that are using science on our behalf and speaking to us about science, actually understand the science that's being presented to them. So that's policymakers, politicians, members and, and, and people who are involved in the media. And then finally, we need an independent fact-checking service so that those facts that are being used and are being spoken about, both in the media and elsewhere, are actually checked for their factual accuracy so that we have confidence in the decisions that are going to be made using that data, that evidence and that science.